What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about a DIY arrow cutting jig. Me and my dad put this together. I'm really excited about it. So let's go ahead and get into it and talk about it. Basically what we started with is our platform right here, just to give everything a good solid base to work off of. And then we made our 90 degree angle right here for the arrow to sit in. And we can rotate the, the arrow if we need to. On this end, we got a hole right here for the knot to go in. And I went ahead and made my measurements for the different arrow lengths. And so you just basically put the end of the wood right here on the desired length and uh, get to cutting. Let's talk about the Dremel a little bit. I saw a lot of them on YouTube where people had the Dremel mounted some similar to this where you cannot move the Dremel at all. And so basically what they did is they would offset the Dremel and they would bring the arrow in and then rotate the arrow as the cutting wheel is moving. So what we came up with is this sliding design for the Dremel. And the reason I like this a lot better is I don't really have to worry about rotating the arrow as much. And a lot of the other guys on YouTube were having to offset the Dremel and rotating the arrow to where they could get a full cut in the rotation. So I like this a lot better. That way I can keep the arrow flush and cut all the way through the arrow at a slow, smooth pace. But the main thing you have to be concerned about is making sure your cutting wheel and the arrow are square. You know, you don't want the Dremel cocked to the left or to the right. You want a straight, square cut. You know, as long as you get your platform where your arrow is going to sit, as long as you get that square and your cutting wheel square, you're, you're fine. There's nothing to worry about. So that's kind of the basic design we got here laid out. This Dremel is just a plug-in Dremel, and I'll go ahead and cut one for you just to demonstrate how it works. All right, we're going to start with a brand new arrow. This arrow is about 33 inches long. And what you're going to do, you're going to come down here, put your knock inside that hole. There you go, square it up nicely. So what I'm going to have to do, since the arrow is 33 inches long and I'm wanting a 29 inch arrow, the way most of these cutting jigs are made, you have to cut off a pretty big piece of excess before you can start moving the jig because you can see right here it starts to get in the way right there and it'll cut it out of square so what i'm gonna do is measure right there at 29 and then i know it's about right there so i'm gonna cut probably right here in this area off the jig and then I'll bring it back onto the jig and finish my cuts. All right, so I just cut off all my excess. Let's go back into the hole on the back side. Bring us to 29 right there all right so now you can see that i cut all that excess off and now i'm able to slide the dremel for a clean cut so let's recheck our measurement right here at 29 good square up the arrow now we're going to hold this right here arrow squared up cutting wheels squared up let's go ahead and make a cut <laughs> See right there, very square. There's nothing wrong with it. Very, very simple. I need some two by fours, a couple blocks to make you a 
a slide and he also needed a Dremel. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank y'all for tuning in. Get out there and enjoy creation. We'll see y'all next time.